Fairy Tail is back, and we start off where we left off with both the teams of six staring at each other. Oh, and anyone and everyone that was hoping that Alderaan was probably... First off, everyone that was hoping that Alderaan might still be alive, and this was just a trick that he was doing. Currently, I would say no, because there is no evidence that he's alive. That could happen in future chapters, but I'm going to assume he's just dead. I think they just off-screened a dragon god. As for who this secret six member was behind the hood, it was, in fact, Meridi. So I was right, and pretty much everyone else was right, because that just made the most sense. She was with Jalal, this ratio says join Jalal, so it just makes sense that she would be the secret six member. I'm not surprised, I'm sure none of you are surprised, it was just obvious for everyone. Also, the whole reason why the ratio says is here and they even knew about this whole thing with the demons was apparently Meredy herself. She's been investigating, which once again makes sense. If she's working alongside Jalal and Jalal was investigating, then he'd probably be sharing his information with her. And then she did her own research. I'm glad the explanation actually makes sense because last week I was confused, like, how would they possibly know? But yeah, no, if Meredy is the one who did the investigation, then yeah, no, that makes sense. Midnight decides to mock his father and so he decides to then make the first move, starts powering up his destruction magic but before he can even make a move that is when the entire ground is turned to mud trapping most of the ratio sec so yeah hot eye by himself was able to pin down five out of six of these guys the only one he wasn't able to get was bird because he could fly but fortunately racer's there and racer is extremely fast and it just kicks bird down <laughs> into the mud so we get all of our matchups obviously midnight's gonna fight his father zero hot eye is going to fight gaia angel's taking on diamond Racer is taking on Bird, Cobra is taking on Blade, and finally Meredy is taking on Gate. And while they're all fighting against each other, the ratio states tells Urza she has to go, she has to get to Jermil. Jermil is the city that was created by the Magic Council to watch over Alderaan, so it's not far from Urza. If you remember, it's the chapter where Brandis shrank all of the women while they were naked and then abandoned them, and so they had that naked adventure throughout the city. But apparently something bad is happening there. We learn later on in the chapter what is actually happening, and uh, yeah, no, it is bad. Um, before we move on to the next part of the chapter, I'm going to mention Angel's magic. It seems to be she can control her feathers and they turn into like these monsters with teeth. So this is like the third magic that we see that Angel uses. The first time was Celestial Magic. She lost all of her major keys to Lucy. The second kind was the anime only but still canon uh, arc where she had those coins which allowed her to do all kinds of weird stuff but they were slowly siphoning away her life force. And now there's this third magic she's using where she can control feathers that turns into like monsters with teeth. So Seriously, Mashma just needs to pick a magic style she uses because she could just keep changing, apparently. Anyway, we go back to Natsu's group, and he's currently apologizing to Miss Fortune, whose new name is now Miss Fortune. And so, Miss Fortune is refusing to take the apology until Natsu explains, well, we were enemies just a minute ago. How was I supposed to know you changed sides? So it should be fair that I hit you. And then she's like, yeah, I guess that's okay then. Of course, Happy doesn't agree with that, but Happy doesn't like to see innocent people getting punched in the face. Anyway, Miss Fortune forgives Natsu, and Natsu then asks her, okay, so where is Ignia? Because that's who I'm after, and that's who I care about. And she tells Natsu that Ignia went after Ferris. Unfortunately, she doesn't actually know where that is because Ignia didn't tell anyone. Also, the way he was tracking Ferris was with his nose. So he's just following her scent. And Natsu's like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I can do that. Obviously, Miss Fortune doesn't actually believe he can do that. But no, since Natsu is in fact a dragon slayer, he has a dragon's nose. Picks up the scent real quick. And he says, oh, they're in that direction. By the way, if it was that simple for him, he didn't even have to follow Ferris's scent. He could have followed Igniel's scent because he knows Igniel's scent because he's met him before. Which means the whole thing about him questioning and fighting Brian and all that, that was a waste of time. Complete waste of time. He could have just followed Igniel's scent from the beginning, but Natsu's an idiot, so what do you expect? Anyway, he realizes the scent is in a direction that he already knows of. That is Dermil, the town that Urza is currently going to. And so we get to actually see Urza's perspective of the town, and it is currently on fire, which tells me the fight between Igna and Ferris have already started. This makes me wonder, is Urza going to get involved in this fight, become a three-way fight? Or is she just going to look for the Lacrima? Because her sole job, in fact, everyone's sole job, is to find the Lacrimas, turning people into dragons, and destroying that, and then deal with the dragon gods and Ferris and all that. Urza's a lot smarter than Natsu, so she would definitely focus on her task at hand. But if she sees that they're causing massive destruction and hurting people, she might ignore her job and go and fight these two big bads instead, so I'm not entirely sure what is going to happen. All I know is that Urza's best option at the moment would be to look for the Lacrima in the area. That's if there is a Lacrima in the area of Dermil. If there isn't, then okay, I guess you have no choice. Fight a Dragon God and a Dark Wizard powered by Acnologia all by yourself. Wow, that is a terrible idea. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up so you enjoy more Fairytale and other things. Thank you and have a great day.